To write the Lewis structure for Ki, potassium iodide, we first write K and then I. Potassium, that's a metal, and then iodine's a nonmetal. When we have a metal and a nonmetal, we have an ionic compound, and valence electrons will be transferred from the metal to the nonmetal. Potassium, that's in group one on the periodic table. That means it has one valence electron. Iodine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A. It has seven valence electrons. So we said that in an ionic compound, the metal will transfer electrons to the nonmetal. The potassium has one valence electron, and it transfers it to the iodine. Since electrons are negative, and potassium just lost an electron, that means it lost a negative charge. That means it's going to be positive. The iodine, it gained that electron. It gained the negative charge, so it has a negative charge. And now we have this positive metal and negative nonmetal. They're attracted together to form an ionic bond. Because this is an ionic bond, an electrostatic attraction, and the electrons are transferred, we need to add brackets to show that the electrons are transferred, not shared, like with a covalent compound. You also see brackets on the positive ion as well sometimes. And that makes this the Lewis structure for Ki, potassium iodide. Note that this is what we call a formula unit. When we have ionic compounds, they come in crystals and they're made up of a bunch of these formula units in a regularly repeating pattern. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for Ki, potassium iodide. Thanks for watching.